We are based and headquartered in Edinburgh. You might hear my accent is, is from Edinburgh. Uh, we were founded in 2007, so we were 11 years old a, a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago. We always have a party in the office to, to celebrate. Uh, we were created by Ed, Rowan and Ollie, uh, three IT contractors, so they were not accountants when, when they set up Freagent, and that might explain quite a lot of the, the functionality that we have. Like I say, we are uh, UK headquartered, developed and supported. Our, we do have people around the UK, mm -hmm. uh, but we're mainly... Um, based in Edinburgh, so our support team are there, our development team are there, our um, engineers are all up there. We have over 160 members of staff. Uh, I've been at Free Agent three and a half years. My colleague Stuart, uh, that's with me today, uh, we joined on the same day. I'm employee number 64. Um, so it just shows you how much we've grown, and we have a target internally uh, to reach about 250 by January. Uh, so we're really sort of growing as a business. Our focus is on simplicity for micro businesses, so I will give you a, a demo later, but uh, we do really focus on sort of what we call micro businesses, six employees or less, that, that is our main target market. We were the first crowdfunded uh, firm uh, to su successfully IPO uh, in the UK, and then um, I'm sure I might get some questions about this later, but uh, the Royal Bank of Scotland Group uh, bought out uh, Free Agent uh, earlier this year for £53 million. Pounds. So uh, that, that's a sort of a little bit of a, a background on how we're funded and, and who we are. Just without uh, further ado, let's just get into it. With the risk of getting egg on my face, does anyone use Free Agent? Egg on my face, brilliant. <laughs> uh, we have one, I know I'm sitting with someone that, that, that uses Free Agent. So that's great. What, what I'll do is I'll, I'll sort of split this um, demo, if you like, into into two areas. We've got an accountant's dashboard, um, so how you guys would use it on a day-to-day -day basis, but I'll also go into the client account and just show you some of the main bits of the features uh, that, that your clients would use. That's big enough for everyone, would you like me to zoom in or? No, nope, all good. So you'll see at the very, very top here, you've got a wee, well, FAPD, which is our team at Freagent. Um, but we would use your accountancy practice name there, so you have your own unique URL, so you don't have to come onto the free agent website to, to get into your dashboard. You'll have your, um, your very own URL. Where you see the free agent logo, we will put your practice logo there, and that's what your clients will see when they log in. Uh, so it, it looks like they're giving you the data rather than sharing it with, with free agent, which is, uh, you know, can be reassuring for some of your clients. That's my email address, and thankfully my password ha has been hidden. Um, to get in, you'll all have your own unique um, password and use your own email address. It's great, it just means you don't have to share passwords around the office or, or anything like that. But I'll log in, and hopefully it works. Yep, perfect. Uh, and as you can see, the dashboard uh, ha has came up with this initial screen, which is the alert page, which I'll go over in a second. You'll notice the header at the top is green. An anything that's sort of green in the header means you're in the accountant's uh, area. Now, I just want to touch on a couple of resources that, that we have and uh, almost feeding into Matt's talk earlier. You know, you guys are sort of time poor and it's quite a, you know, you've seen the average hours, 11 average hours to, to on board. A lot of our new features uh, has been to help you with that sort of giving you resources to help you onboard clients on, onto free agent, whether that being communication or migration. So I'd just like to show you where they are um, because really by the time you want to add a client onto free agent, hopefully you've communicated with them first. So if I go uh, into the top right and the partner resources section, you know, I heard Matt saying landing pages and videos earlier. What we've actually done is create landing pages uh, and videos for you. And again, we'll co-brand these with all your uh, logos. And, and um, so when you send them to your client, I'll actually say your practice and you'll get to um, sort of sell them the benefits of, of free agent that way. Like I say, there's videos there and uh, the next is videos on, on how to actually use it. You can just send these directly to your client and it'll have your logo on it. So it's a, a nice little uh, time saver there. There's two ways to create clients on Freagent. How, how we work, we don't ask you to buy bulk licenses or anything like that. Uh, it's very much pay as you go. If you've only got one client, go ahead and create them. If you've got 10, then great. Um, another one, if you want to do it in bulk, so again, Matt talked about you know, 
you might have to move a lot of clients on in one place. We, we can do that, and we do have a migration team that can help you do that. And, um, come and speak to me and Stuart uh, later on this afternoon. We can go through that in more detail. Um, but traditionally, how you do it is go to all clients or my clients. So I'll just go to my clients to make it easier. Anything on free agent to create is a big green button on the top right. Um, nice and easy, new client. And what I'll do is I'll just show you how easy it is to create a client. So has anyone got a pet? Anyone got a pet? Someone must have a pet. Oh, Florence. Florence. Lola. So Lola has now got a limited company, lovely. You can create their subdomain uh, for your clients. So again, they don't need to go to freeagent.com and, and log in, they can do, but you can set up their own subdomain. Now, I'm going to suggest there's maybe one or two other Lolas in, in the world, so you might have to get a bit creative here and, and, and add a couple of digits at the end, but that's okay. We support sole traders, partnerships, limited companies, um, and, and that's where you, where you choose them there. And you can also set this as a, an active license or inactive license or even a, a, a trial. So if you know you're going to see a client in the next couple of weeks, uh, you could set that up as inactive and uh, just leave it there. And then when you meet them, you can, you can make that active. Now, underneath that is an, a new feature that we have and tying on with the, the Royal Bank of Scotland purchasing us. Uh, purchasing us. Um, and again, going on Matt's presentation, um, earlier. We also recommend that you segment your clients and, and know who they bank with. Um, the reason I say that, if you have any NatWest or RBS clients and you're creating their account, if you tick that button, um, that account is completely free. There's no charge at all. I'm sure I'll get questions about that at some point, but uh, that, that's how you do it. That, that's a new feature that we had. Uh, it used to be go through um, the bank themselves, but actually we've created the, the ability for accountants to come in and create NatWest RBS accounts completely free off the dashboard. This is your uh, client's name. I'll just put mine just now. And very important, this is your client's email address, not your email address. The reason that's important is they'll get uh, an email from us to set their password. But uh, going on I heard a couple of people saying earlier that you know they take a lot of time on training their clients on how to use the software. Once you set up the account, Freeagent actually puts that client on a five-step training course themselves, and it all comes through that email. We call it an onboarding journey, and that helps them to set up their bank feed, how to create an invoice, how to create an expense, um, you know, stuff like that, how to download the mobile app and use it. So it's very important that you get that right, yes, to set up the password, but it also sets up their training journey on, on your behalf. The owner permissions underneath, and this is sort of tying on what uh, Rebecca was saying earlier, you can actually, as you, because you're setting up the account, um, you can create uh, permission levels of what the client can and can't do. Uh, so, like Rebecca said earlier, you know, I only want you to do the invoices. You dial that down to number four, and all they would see is the invoice section on Freeagent. Um, we default it at level seven for accountants, which means the clients can view everything, and they can see everything, they can do everything. They can't file self-assessment, can't file VAT returns or post journals. Um, if you really trust them, you can give them level eight, and they can, but I really wouldn't recommend that. There's nothing worse than clients posting journals when you've been on holiday or over the weekend. And likewise, you can give them no access and just use it internally in your practice as well. So I'll create that client. And that's that account created, but I've not finished the setup process yet. Um, to do that and to get into any account on free agent, you hit switch to. And now I'm going to start up the setup process. You need to do this because you've created the account. If, they, if your client tried to log on, uh, they would get an error message asking them to contact you. Uh, you need to finish this, uh, this setup process because uh, you've created the account. So hopefully quite um, straightforward. Um, you'll know all these details. Another nice touch is that we have a, a link with Companies House. So if Lola Limited uh, was real and uh, was incorporated, you could um, click on Find Company Details. 
There you are. Well, there's a few. Lola and Daisy, Lola and Flo, Lola and Gilbert. Uh, so there's a few. So if your client's details were there, you could just simply click on that and that would pull through their address, their accounting dates, um, and, and stuff like that. So it's a nice little time saver. Our, our accountants uh, really like that. What I'm just going to do is I'll just quickly fire through all this. And like I say, the accounting dates, hopefully you understand that and I don't have to go into too much detail. Now, we do uh, support VAT as well. Um, I heard others saying, you know, the flat rate scheme, and I double checked before I came up, our flat rate scheme submissions work perfectly well. Um, and invoice and cash uh, accounting basis, and you can easily slip in between them um, throughout the lifetime of the business. To pick the flat rate scheme, you just hit, hit yes there. There's all the flat rate schemes here. We also have, uh, support the first 1% discount in the first 12 months. We'll, you know, we'll calculate all that automatically. And EC VAT reporting as well, you do that. But I'm just going to put that not registered so it's nice and quick. And then this is the banking details. You don't need to do this if you don't know your client's bank details. Uh, but if you do, uh, then, then, then great. We support multi-currency banking. Uh, our bank feeds uh, are, are worldwide. Um, uh, we do link with xe.com, so if you do have people that work in dollars or, or, or euros or anything like that, we'll also post the gains and losses automatically overnight, so you don't have to as well. Um, but don't worry about this. If you don't know the details, uh, you, you, you don't need to fill them out. So that's the account now set up, and you'll see at the top it's now went to a blue header. Your client can now log in. They'll now begin their, their, um, their training journey, their onboarding journey. This is what they'll see when they log in. They'll see everything except return to your dashboard at the top. They don't have a dashboard, but you do. So I can quite easily come out of that. It will take me back to my dashboard, and this is where you can access other clients' accounts. So just before I go into my demo account and show you the, the client bit, sorry, is there any questions on that, or will we take it later? Do you have any demo accounts that are ready to prepare and file a VAT return under MTD? Yes, we've done three already. Are you um, able to sort of Step us through that sequence. Yes, I will. I've, I've, got, I've got a fantastic 52 second video to show you for that. <laughs> um, you can set up alerts. This is, allows you to be a little bit proactive. So as you can see here, I've got, I've got a few for VAT return during 30 days. Um, and these are all hyperlinked. So if I clicked on that VAT return, it would just take me straight to it. I wouldn't have to go you know, clicking away to do. Um, what ones that we really encourage people to use is sort of 10 or more unexplained bank transactions or they haven't logged in. You could set up an alert here and go, you know, come on, John, you've, you've got 10 or more bank transactions uh, unexplained. We need you to do that. So it just gives you a little tool to, to be um, a little bit proactive here. But what I'll do is I'll jump into my uh, physio account, my training account, and just go through just three or four of the key features that, we, that we've got. And like, say, me and Stuart are here this afternoon, so come and ask us questions. So I've clicked on to our physio. You can see a mini p &L here. It's still got a green heading at the top, still in the accountants bit. But here's all the details of, of the business here. But like I said before, to get into any account, you hit switch to. So again, it's went from green to blue at the top. And uh, this is what a live account would look like. Um, at a glance, they'll be able to see exactly where the business is at this period in time. So it's all in real time information. So you see their cash flow. There's the mini P&L from the, the page before, their banking at the bottom right there. You've got invoices, estimates, projects, time slips. I, I won't go into all the features because, uh, quite frankly, it'll bore you. Um, but we do have that, and there's no add-ons or anything like that with, with Freeagent. What I would like to um, bring your attention to is our tax timeline. Now, this is unique to Freeagent. We have a tax timeline here, um, which is a, a, a real-time indication of what their VAT or corporation tax self-assessment liabilities are when they're due. Um, you can even link this to the mobile phone app so you get a push notification telling you how much tax you're due and when. You know, I uh, don't think I would like that, but uh, anyway, we, we do do it. Um, so no, no more nasty surprises for your client, no more sort of phone calls in, in February to say, how much was my VAT or self-assessment? They know how much they're due and when they are. The three features that I would like to take you through are invoicing, the banking, and expenses, and that's actually what makes up our, our, our VAT calculations. Quickly, <laughs> okay. Um, so our um, invoicing is um, very simple, really. Big green button at the top right. And what I'll do is I'll just quickly create a, an invoice. So you've got the invoice dates, uh, date here, payment terms, multi-currency, like I said, uh, and additional text. Now this 
section here, the um, invoice emails. Um, if you have clients that struggle with credit control, nobody likes chasing money. Free agent will automatically chase outstanding um, invoices on their behalf. Um, so it's a great little time saver for your clients. So I've created this invoice now. I just populate it. I'll do this very quickly. Um, lecture in since I'm lecturing you. Not really, but... I'll create and finish. And as you can see, that's created the invoice, uh, the unit prices, the um, pull through the VAT. You can save as PDF, send by email, but what I'll do is I'll just mark that as sent, and that's now a live invoice. It's now part of your balance sheet. So banking, uh, we spoke quite a lot about getting data to, to and, and real data to. We support um, all, all, all banks um, around the world, really. And there's two ways to get bank data into FreeAgent. You can <laughs> upload a statement, CSV or, or other formats. Um, but the most popular one, the most safest one, is a bank feed. So if you bear with me a second, this is my demo account, so you wouldn't do this. But this is what it would look like if you had the bank feed. So you can see the colours here. Um, green, they've been explained. Red, they still need explained. You can do this on the mobile phone app as well. Um, and the software, is, this is really the heartbeat free agent. The software's got used to previous behaviour. So it's guest transactions, so it knows every time I go to Shell, it's motor expense. Uh, Ovo Energy is my office cost. If you want to show that 50 second video, you'll pretty All much right, have okay. to wind up and won't leave much time for questions. So okay, get no your problem. questions ready. So I've just clicked on that and uh, I'll explain that transaction. That, that's that's uh, explained the invoice as well. You'll see money in and money out. That's the terminology that we use that's, uh, you know, just to keep things nice and simple. So I'll, what I'll do is I'm aware of time, so I'll go into this lovely video that George produced. Hopefully you can hear it. No, you can't. And select HMRC connections. I'll, I'll talk. I'll talk you through it then. Basically, sorry. So to set up um, the um, MTD connection, you go to HMRC connections. You can authorize your free agent account to do that. You sign up for the pilot. So that, that that's the process just now with the pilot. Once the pilot's finished, you can actually do this through your dashboard just once, and that authorizes your whole practice. So you only need to do that once. This is for the, the, the pilot just now, where, the, where they register on your behalf. So now they've granted authority. We confirm that there's a connection there. And then filing the return. We have been filing VAT returns on free agent digitally for 11 years. Uh, you just go into taxis and VAT. Select the return that you want. File online VAT MTD. Click the button and submit. And that's it, really. So it is something that we've been doing for 11 years. It's just a, a, a change that we've had to make in the background, just how we report it. So hopefully that shows you how easy it is. So do we have any questions for Kevin? On for you. Okay, one, well, you've got about a minute left. Okay. Uh, so I've got one. I mean, you just actually said something that, that all the bookkeeping vendors do is saying, well, it's just, it's just another different version of the report. You know, you just click a button, it's a different option. Um, you know, do you think, when you look at the wider program, what's the free agent perspective on that? When once, once we expand beyond just, it's, it's, you know, it's not just a VAT return. You have the agent services connection, for example. So yep. what do you think... A, what do you think the next steps will be for bookkeeping software and what will you be able to consume, you know, see in your app from the agent services account? I think open banking's coming next year as well, so there's a lot of um, data will be easily shared to and from, not just free agent, but banks from HMRC. So, you know, the, the, what we think is going to happen next year, especially with like open banking, is you won't have an online bank account anymore you'll just log into FreeAgent and make all your payments through that. Likewise, you know, they'll, you'll be able to make your VAT payments and stuff like that. Once you, once you report your VAT to HMRC, you'll be able to pay it through FreeAgent. Um, so really, we'll hold all the data and other services will be linked to FreeAgent itself and, and, and use that.